Now, we have been talking about Suzlon for quite a bit based on the run it's had since last year. And today, it's arguably one of the stocks to focus on because it's gaining about 2%, not tremendous gains, but it has got a significant order. And this is something that we've been talking about for a little while. We've got uh, an announcement has come through today and Mika is joining you to tell us more about that. India's largest wind energy project. Uh, how significant is this though, Mika, in the larger context based on the kind of orders that Suzlon has been winning? Yeah, it's actually taken, um, you know, its order book from 3.8 gigawatts just as of the end of June 2024 to uh, over 5 gigawatts. Now, what Suzlana has bagged is uh, an order worth 1,166 megawatts from NTPC Green Energy. And like you mentioned, it is India's largest wind energy order. The company will install a total of 370 wind turbine generators. And this will be the S144 um, model of the company, which are at, at a capacity of 3.15 megawatts. Now, these, uh, this project is to be executed across three sites in Gujarat, two on uh, two NTPC renewable energy projects and one Indian oil project. And uh, the electricity generated from this project will um, power around 3 million households as per the press release. Now, when you talk about the revenue potential for Suzla and well, as per management, the company um, you know, roughly earns around 6 megawatts, uh, 6 crores per megawatt um, you know, of um, installation. So, the revenue potential from this order itself is over 6,900 crores for the company. And like I said, the current order book now is at 5 gigawatts and um, it's up 31% from the Q1 FI25 levels and you know it's key to note that this wind turbine um, manufacturing segment contributes around 20 to 23% to Suzlon's total EBITDA and it is the, the company is the largest wind turbine generator in India and ranks fifth in terms of global capacity as well. Important context being provided. Thanks so much, Mika, for joining in as always. Let's uh, also tell you, by the way, that we'll get some more clarity from the management when we speak to them at 12 p.m. today. It's just a short while away. We are speaking with the chief executive officer of the company, JP Chalsani, so you should watch out for that. In the meanwhile, let's talk about uh, how this particular stock ranks in uh, the books of our experts today. We've got Samir Dalal of Natwarlal and Sons Stock Brokers and Rajesh Palviya, Senior Vice President, Technical Research, uh, Technical and Derivatives Research, I should say, at Access Securities. As always, thank you so much, gentlemen, for taking the time. Samir, arguably one of the stocks of the last couple of years based on the kind of run that we've had and what a journey. What do you make of this latest development? Would you be a buyer right now? Would you wait for a little bit of uh, clarity as to whether or not the fundamentals keep pace with the stock. So, uh, good morning. And uh, can fundamentals keep pace with the stock? 100% fundamentals will do far better. The problem simply lies for Suzlon is that the stock has, like you said, performed extremely well over the last year and a half. The stock has gone up from 8 rupees all the way to about 75, 76 and made a high of even 80, right? Um, so we've discussed this once, I think, either last week or the week before that in the past. So we continue to believe that renewable energy and wind energy will also remain one of the mainstays for growth in the power sector going forward. So Suzlon being the largest domestic player, uh, huge capacities, will get the benefit of fresh orders, which is already beginning to see uh, operational utilization in going up, which will allow them to uh, generate higher profits. Their balance sheet has been strengthened. All of those things have been done which we believe are very good. But simply put, where we find difficulty is that all of these positives have already been priced into a large, I'd say, priced in far more than what needs to be priced in. Uh, so it will take Suzlon at least another year before they can start working at much higher utilization uh, because these orders flows as they come in, by the time they start production, setting up, getting the permissions, you know, all of that does take time. And you will see profitability increasing. But it, even after the increase in profitability and even after the increase in the operational efficiencies, we don't think the stock price can sustain at the 75 level uh, in the near term. They do have a new capacity coming up, which will allow them to increase utilization. That will happen in another year's time. Uh, you know, Based on that, maybe a year down the line, if the stock is at the current price or lower, it might warrant a buy for high end. Uh, but at this moment, uh, we are not suggesting one to buy the stock. The stock has seen a significant run up. Uh, and there's very, I mean, if you have to balance the risk reward right now, the uh, risk is far more than the reward that could probably come about. So I would not be going out to buy the stock. Fair, fair point. So therefore, time-wise correction might just be on the cards. 